When I started the film, I was told very early on by a mentor of mine that you need to prove to people or explain to people that you are the one to tell this story, that you have this unique perspective. And I thought about it, and, and he's right. You know, Maple and I were both born on March 4th, 1992, to the day, which is insane. We're, we're both women from the South Asian community. Um, you know, parents were immigrants, uh, you know, had similar aspirations in life. I feel like we really, we, we would have been friends if, if we had met. So I feel like I have this unique perspective that was crucial in the telling of this story. I was able to connect with her friends. I was able to really show them that I was, that I was also hurting by this, just like so much of our community, and that I wanted to help in any way that I could. Meet filmmaker Jaslyn Kaur. She has created a powerful documentary film about the life and death of Maple Battalia. Her film has become a voice for not only Maple's family, but other victims of violence who are seeking change in our community. More than anything, when I first started, I just wanted to learn more about Maple. I wanted to know who she was and I wanted to understand the issues behind why she was killed and, and how how it was possible for someone to take her life in that way, in that gruesome way, feel like he had the power to do that. I just wanted to know, I wanted answers, just like so many other people. So when I started the film, I decided that I was just gonna ask as many questions as I could, just, just to learn more about her. And then it turned into more of me wanting to raise awareness about the issues of domestic violence and gender inequality, particularly in the South Asian community. And then it turned into me wanting to amplify the voices of her parents and her friends who were basically pleading and saying, you know, please, society, do what you can to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So as a filmmaker, I wanted to be able to, to get their word out as much as I possibly could. This film told the story of this incredible girl and works towards raising awareness about the issues that surrounded her death. She's a perfect woman in this world. I never see like me, but in my life. For anything, I would be like, hey, people, you know, I need you. She'll come running to me, and she wouldn't think twice. One of the most genuine, caring people I've ever met. And she's the type of person that you're lucky to meet in a lifetime, really. Creating this film was, was quite a process. Um, there were three moments that really, really stood out for me that, that made it come alive. The first one being, getting the blessing from Maple Battaglia's family. I knew that I needed to contact Rosalie Battaglia, Maple's sister, first, because she had been very outspoken in the media. And I was really lucky to have Kaplan University support because they provided me with the gear that I needed to start the initial interviews um, because I submitted the film project through their off-the-grid program. Another really big step for me was getting Benita Negra, Karen Kang, and Venetia Ajla because they were the three friends that I think we're closest to Maple, and two of them were with her the night that she died. When I first contacted them, Benita decided that she wanted to talk to me on the phone, and I was like, oh my goodness, okay, here we go. So we talked on the phone, and we talked for about an hour and a half, the first conversation that we had, because we immediately started talking about Maple and who she was. Benita told me the entire story over the phone that day, and I remember just taking so many notes and, and actually crying during the phone call too because it had become so emotional, learning about everything. And that was the first time that I had heard a different story, not the story that the media told. At the Westminster Savings Lecture Theater in the Simon Fraser University Surrey campus, Jasleen has staged one final public showing of her film. Across all cultures, there seems to be this entrenched belief that the man is superior over the woman. And that's, that's a problem that we need to fix. And that's something that I tried to get across in the film as well. I think it's subject matter that has been avoided for a very long time, but now people are starting to speak more about it. And I didn't find it tough to ask those questions because 
They just needed to be asked and people had answers, so I wasn't scared to ask them. I mean, look at the Me Too movement and the Women's March in Vancouver. Like, there's, there's so much happening now and I'm, I'm so glad that I can be part of this movement to hopefully eradicate these problems. Thank you so much for watching. Please show your support for change by clicking the like button and sharing this story. And don't forget to check out our amazing team. Thank you so much to everyone that helped out on this project. A special thank you to SFU for letting us film on campus and Jasleen Kaur for sharing her story and the footage from her film. You can become a changemaker too by partnering with us. Learn more about how you can become a sponsor on our website.